It's Chant for KaijuPub.com where today we are playing WWE 2K16. Uh, sorry, oddly silent on the menu there. I'm sorry you can't listen to, to Skid Row and whatnot. Uh, that is because of music licensing. So I just, uh, I believe it automatically takes these out these days. The wonders of technology. Um, but I turned it off just in case. Hey, um, so this is the second uh, WWE game under the auspices of 2K, although it's still being developed by Ukes with support from Visual Concepts, but, uh, you know, how much stuff Visual Concepts actually does is debatable. Um, it's also the second one on this generation of systems. I don't even know whether there is a PS3 360 version. There might be. Uh, or it's severely dumbed down, I, I would assume. Um, but, I mean, the big problem last year was that they had to take a bunch of stuff out just to kind of make it work uh, on the new systems. And the one of the things this year is that they put some of that stuff back in. So it's, it's things like Create a Championship uh, that has gone um back in there uh we've had uh let's see create an arena is is back in there and um you know things like that so you can just uh you know there's you can do that i, I didn't mean to do that i meant to show you the things that i'd made um you're kind of getting uh the feel there for the feel right here for just how annoying the create tools are in that if you do make a slight mistake I've been making some titles there, and one of the nice things is that you can update, uh, you can upload rather pictures for logos and, and faces and things like that. But that all involves getting through this UI, which is full of loading screens all the time. Things load, and then you, you realize you made a mistake, so you go back to the menu, and then you, it loads again, and then. If for some reason, if you be, you know, if you create a superstar and you want to put a custom face on there, um, you have to go to community creations first to generate a use code and then put that in the website. But it has to be the right type of logo taken or QR code. So I want to upload a face, but I accidentally create a one two eight by one two eight logo code thing. Then it'll screw up. Um, and then you go to my logos and then you realize you forget to download something. You go all the way back and it takes, you know, it's all of these little low times that really piss you off when you do it. Um, and generally like the, the creation stuff, I'm not going to dip into it too much, but there's a bunch of UI problems. If you read the review, uh, that's going up on hydropop.com shortly, um, then, you know, in a day or two, then, uh, you'll see some of the problems that I've had with the UI stuff on it, but it is a powerful creation tool. So I'm going to, uh, go into WWE universe here, which is the mode they've had for the last few years, which is just, uh, simulate every sort of, uh, show I guess TV show in in the WWE week and you can chuck in your own stuff in there and again long loading times which is uh, really the bane of, of the existence with this game um, so you can see you can chuck in uh, stuff of your own choosing as well so uh, you know I've had I always like to have a New Japan uh, rivalry here I, you know people who know me know I'm a New Japan pro wrestling uh, devotee and of course you can check out my book Lions Pride type in the history of New Japan pro wrestling which is on uh, Amazon right now there's a, there's a little plug for you um, but uh, yeah, so on my calendar, I've got a weekly New Japan show and I'm just coming up to a, a pay-per-view. So I'm in the middle of, of this stuff here. And um, this on here, which really show you how, how good some of the creation stuff is. Um, it's a combination of, of things on this show of, of things that I've made. I've made that Tetsuya Naito and stuff that I've downloaded from pe other people that have shared it. So like the, the Kazushi Sakuraba here is, is one that I've downloaded. Um, I downloaded Okada and Nakamura and I downloaded the arena here, but I've, I've been making stuff and the community has been very good um, and at steadily putting stuff out there. And, and uh, you know, that, that's always one of the, the big positives in WWE games is like the user generated content and how good the community is about um, adding stuff to that content. Um, and that was somewhat lacking last year because the tools were so poor. Um, this year, it's, it's kind of come back a, a little bit here. So I've already had uh, on this show a little bit of an inter-bullet club rivalry here. This is an odd main event. This is like desperate to um, <laughs> to fill out the Ogoku for invasion attack here. We got 
Chaos versus Chaos and Champion versus Champion uh, in that main event there. And it's slightly dodgy looking Okada. I didn't, I didn't make that. By the way, didn't make it. Did make the Naito. I'm quite proud of my uh, my Naito there. Uh, so let's uh, let's jump into this one. And uh, we'll be able to see a how good um, you know some of this stuff looks that's that's been user made. I didn't make this arena. I have to say I did download it, but it does look really awesome and on point. Um, but, and I can't. I would give credit to the user I downloaded it from, but I really don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, this. This is also an opportunity to see just see the changes they made to the the game engine this year. Um, so you see again, really big load times though, um, and yeah, especially when it has to load in user generated uh, assets. So that's annoying. Um, it, typically, I don't get this problem if it's if it's loading like a Roar or a SmackDown or an NXT. Um, so I think this is mainly because there's a ton of, you know, generated content that it has to pull from the, the, the save files or what have you um, on here. And that sort of creates these these really, really long load times. Um, so we're making you rate. They should just play Tetsuya Naito. They should just have Tetsuya Naito's uh, theme music on in the background just to create that, that true-to-life feel of, of this guy that, that's not coming out to the ring. Um, yeah, still, we'll get there eventually. Um, and we'll see, oh, okay, no entrances. Okay, it's gonna instantly, this is, so this is a rivalry match, which which means that there's gonna be some storyline. And for some reason, Jushin Liger is coming down to the ring to watch Naito versus Sakuraba. So you didn't get to see my cool Naito with his like uh, proper suited masks entrance. That sucks. You do get to see, look, just look how good like and how true that, that ring is. Um, so yeah, certainly props to the people that made that, and you get to have the, the strange experience of hearing uh, Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler and <laughs> JBL call the New Japan show um, here. Yeah, so you know it could only be so much worse than than that striker. Um, yeah, so uh, here we go. We're gonna dig in, and this has returned this chain wrestling stuff at the beginning, which I don't think anybody liked uh, from last year. They kind of, um, you know, they've augmented it so you can hit people while you're doing it, and made it a little bit different. Um, but yeah, it's still not really ideal in in any respect. Um, Commentary is awful. Um, it kind of really. Well, actually, I don't know. I, I, I'll dip into after this. We'll um, I'm backed up in the ropes here. I'll dip into the. Oh, I could have made a little dirty break there, but I didn't. And here's the lockup. Look at these two. Uh, see, this stuff is taking forever. It's not something that Monday night I would do. There you go. Go club it now. Um, in fact, They're struggling I'm getting for control right now. down uh, because right, it's this very difficult really to talk into this. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll dip into the showcase mode a little bit later on, but that is um, he may have to worry about good. You choice. know, Jim Ross is is very good in it and kind of illustrates that that he's a pro at at VO work. Um, and all of these guys, like, I don't know if you listen to J JBL and Jerry Lawler, as as ever, are awful in these games. Um, the but the worst, <laughs> just Who's JBL is just control. drunk or asleep or both goal. for most of us. Uh, it's it's quite ridiculous. Um, so the uh, the big change uh, gameplay wise here is that we have um, you see the little bars underneath here. the guys' names and those are the numbers of reversals I have. So like they're on a cooldown and uh, that's kind of made in such a way that you know you can't just spam reversals over and over again. And that having said that, we are getting a big chain here. Um, but it does mean you have to be a little bit more, um, not much more, but a little bit more strategic about what you're doing with the reversals. What I find um, irritating, it's good because I think it does help the flow 
um, to have these vessels be limited. But um, at the same time, I kind of think um, the window for these reversals is still way too small. Um, it's still kind of arbitrary when you do actually get a reversal or not. Um, just to give you some idea, you know, like it will say, and you've probably seen so far, um, these uh, little indicators when I'm screwing it up that say, oh, too late, too soon. And I've had times where it's flashed too soon and too late at the same time. You <laughs> know, and it's like, Jesus Christ, like which? Come on, make up your mind. Um, so, you know, the thing is, what what that means is that ultimately, the way I play, perhaps I'm too bad at it, but it doesn't make for that much more of a strategic thing, because, you know, I, okay, you know, I can only hit a, th a third of the reversals that a perfect player would be able to hit, but then again, I can only hit a third of the reversals, you know, my reversals only hit a third of the time anyway, um, so... You got dirty pins, which I think were always there. I'm just clean up on the hoops there. Is, is Naito there? And there's a few extra mini games we might see if we get into a submission hold here. They they changed that stuff um, to make it a bit more reaction based rather than button mashy. Um, I kind of like it, but at the same time, it does make it a lot more difficult to escape from submissions, and that does mean that sometimes you'll just have weird matches that end with a chin lock. Um, the other thing that's that's irritating, I like, you know, this last year as well, uh, slowed the pace right down um, and made the ring, Look I think, two, you know, I mean, There's it might just be me no thinking this, but made the ring actually physically yeah, smaller uh, to move around in. I mean, the Kimura here, so like you can see here, uh, I've got to escape. Literally, I was moving the blue bar there around the circle and I had to skate Sakuraba's red bar there to, to get out there. And, um, I did that. Yes, last year they slowed the pace right down. They kept with that this year. I like the slower pace, I do. Um, but it does mean that once you get to the latter stages of the match here, I'm really getting beaten badly. <laughs> really terrible. I'm not this terrible at the game, but I do have to talk at the same time. Um, yeah, uh, you know, they, they've kept with the slow pace, and for the most part, I do like that, but it it does mean that once it he gets to this up. point where uh, you're starting to get damaged, um, it just oh, gets, you're just slowing to a crawl sometimes, and it's just immensely irritating. Well, I'm going to tap. The thing is, what's tricky with these, and I tap that um... Yeah, what's tricky with, with doing that There's is changing directions, because it does the Tempest thing. Is right right, or is right clockwise, you know, it, it's, uh, it's oh, tough. So. Um, but yeah, so I was wholly uh, expecting <laughs> planning to have Naito win that match, but I kind of got ruined there. Um, I like the way the game plays. There are moments here where, you know, if I'm honestly playing it properly and uh, not talking over it, where some of these matches are genuinely exciting. And it's, uh, for my money, it's the closest that these game Really? Okay. Some of the booking is still really weird in, in the universe mode, but I mean, you can only expect that. Um, it's the closest that these games, these Ukes games, have gotten to um, being like a TV match. Um, so, you know, that's cool. Uh, there's also one thing that's interesting about the uh, the universe mode here is that you've got these RPG-like character traits that are going for prideful, respectful, perseverant, loyalty, bold, and disciplined, and their opposites there. And that kind of changes based on uh, you know, events before and after the match, and kind of the way you play the game, but not really. Um, so in theory, it's, it's kind of good, the, the, the way you play the game changes these things, and that kind of means that there's more organic rivalries developing, which, uh, even if it isn't perfect, and, and by no means, I don't 
pretend that it is um it's still like it's it's a good effort it's a good step towards uh, making universe a bit more interesting than it was and making it you know kind of progressive and, and evolving in a way that uh other years really weren't it was just oh hey here's a, here's a bunch of matches um so i'm gonna dip out of here and uh, let's go into the 2k showcase um showcase last year was uh this horrible weird thing where they just like chucked random things together and like oh we're gonna have cm punk and alberto del rio uh when neither were with the company anymore and uh, we're gonna have Shawn michaels and triple h for uh, because so they've really gravitated towards um, Austin, and I, I only realized when I bought the game, it was like, oh, 2K16, because 316, so Austin, and, and that's uh, how they've done there. But, you know, I was expecting, oh, it's it's WWE 1K98, you know, we're just playing WWF Warzone again. Um, but yeah, this is all about, you know, it's, it's about Austin. Um, this stuff is the same sort of stuff that uh, we've gotten the last few years with the, uh, I believe it was Attitude Era mode, and then there was WrestleMania, and then last year we had the these, uh, you know, those rivalries things. And this is all about uh, Austin's career. So you get these nice video packages. Yeah. And I'll beat your ass back to Canada. Um, so if you're really watching 1997 Raw, and you get to remember that stuff, I wasn't watching Raw in 1997. Although Brett was not able to compete, the Hart Foundation was determined to continue their dominance. We're going to skip over that. Um, so we're going to see uh, Austin and Shawn Michaels here. And yeah, I mean, if you've played the, the previous years modes, you, you kind of know what to expect. You get this nice uh, CRT filter on the screen. You know, oh, hey, you're playing an old uh, video game match. And that's kind of cool. Um, oh, that's right. They were tagged on this. Oh, yeah. um, you get Howard Finkel on here. You also get JR and uh, Jerry Lawler back together. And uh, as I said before, like JR is, is very good in this. Um, certainly infinitely better than JBL going, there's a big fat fear on Michael. such a fan favorite, but he damn sure has. And you know, you just can't trust that man, JR. I don't and uh yeah so i mean it's it's the same stuff um basically we're going to be playing through the matches and more than trying to win the match the most important thing um here is going to be achieving certain objectives um that are going to be straight in the top left corner so damage the opponent five times during a chain wrestling sequence um I don't necessarily have to do this, um, but if I don't do it, uh, then I don't get the unlocks, and the whole point of doing this mode is so you can unlock stuff, so it's basically, well, you know, if you don't, if you don't get this stuff done, then uh, you might as well just restart the fucking game, I guess, um, and that sucks. Um, I... Uh, I, oh, the first thing, the first time they they put this uh, this sort of showcase feel in when they did the Attitude Era thing, and it was about um, sort of replicating certain events and historical events and and the way matches actually happened. Um, I thought that was really cool, and now it's. It's it's really worn on me the, these things because of course you have that WWE Network you have all these means to actually watch these matches if you just wanted to watch the the fucking history thing and it's just so counter to the way the game's played from a video game standpoint where uh, the main drive behind the game itself is still to win the fucking matches but it's you know it's really weird to have um you know section 
challenges that are like, oh, you know, that require you to get beaten up or that really are just there to set up a, a quick time event. And there's bits that are just, it feels so obtuse, you know, and, and there's no real reasoning behind why, you know, you, you have to do things. It's like, well, make sure Bret Hart's face down in the ring and then grapple him at his head. And that's like an objective marker because that then spins off into a cutscene where actually the, the interesting stuff that happened in the real match gets played out in front of you because it doesn't trust you to actually play that stuff. Um, I just, yeah, I, I, I think there's, there's just, there's not really, I get that these are, I suppose, marketable things and, and things that you can put in the trailer, but it got so frustrating for me earlier on, this is playing on normal, but, um, you know, this stuff wouldn't be bad if it was just, oh, play this match, and you can have fun that way. Um, but play this match and do this specific thing. You know, it's it's like, you know, if if you were playing a friend at a fighting game and you just learned a finishing move and it's like, oh, let me, do, you know, let me do this. I just want to do this. And then, you know, your friend won't let you hit the thing on it. And it just gets really frustrating. So, um, yeah, I mean, actually, earlier on, I was playing this just on easy, just to... to fucking get it moving. I should probably have played this on, on easy here, but... So you see, there you go. Okay. Now, it's going to do rogue work that it wouldn't trust the AI to do normal. Um, Gotta be future Hall of Famers in WWE is Austin having a little fun now at uh, HBK's expense. Yeah, you might not want to take too much time to gloat there, Stoke. But all of that coming through, this is, uh, you know, they're, they're, it might be based on things that were actually on the real coming through, but it's, uh, it's all been recorded separately. Um, but it does feel organic, and it's, it's not just a testament to how good the, you know, how good the people involved are, but also these, these sections are very well directed and uh, sound very good. Um, much better than they have in previous years where it has felt somewhat canned, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, like, the, the announcing in these bits are, are very good and they, they feel uh, genuine, which is, it just really makes, like, the, the rest of the game very, very glad. Like, all of it. Um, visually as well, like, uh, I mean, you'll see here that, like, Austin looks really good here, Michaels really looks really good here, and these are the bits where you go, well, it, it feels like a current gen video game, but they were just, uh, when we go into my career, it's, it's just going to feel really, really uh, creepy. Um, so there you go. Um, let's see, I don't I think just in the interest of time, we're going to get out of here. I don't think those particularly, probably aren't particularly interested in... See, if I made, I could really easily make HBK tap out, just then, and I was like, oh, I'm going to win the match, but then that's not the point, is it? Because I've got to get all the unlockable bits in it. Uh, oh, it's not fun. It's really not fun. So uh, let's let's quit out that, because I just think that one's really boring. <laughs> um, and we'll show a little bit of career. Um, career last year was an absolute bare bones mess and uh, they've made it much more interesting this year um, so you're still sort of creating a guy from scratch and taking him through uh, NXT uh, that guy looks nothing like me I was just so tired of the creation tools I was just like oh fucking hell just get it out there uh, so you see that I played the career mode just over a couple of hours and so not uh, too too long we're still in uh, NXT here and um, you, the the idea is the same. You're still building up their stats, uh, building up their stats too slowly uh, in my book, and it's kind of it kind of encourages you. Uh, it doesn't encourage you within game, but there is like an extra little bit of uh, microtransaction stuff that you can get to boost your stats. Um, so it is just it just feels really fucking weird that you can't jump off the top rope. <laughs> when you start your career mode, even though like you're supposedly an indie darling before you get to NXT, or that's the way it, it builds you in the game anyway. 
Um, but uh, yeah, you create your character. You do. Uh, yeah, I mean, you do all that stuff in there. That's the same as it was last year. Um, the difference is that uh, you can get involved with the authority, which I can't do because I'm not in the main roster yet. Uh, but the real goal of the game is to get to the Hall of Fame, which is, I think, an interesting approach. It's like, well, you can either choose, you can either uh, score three of these sub goals or one main goal um, to get through that. So, like, three-time Royal Rumble winner. That's an interesting one. Lose every match in your career for three years, so you can be like the the jobber <laughs> guy in the Hall of Fame, Brooklyn Brawler, or whatever. Um, and that stuff's cool. I would have liked to have seen more goals here to go for. Um, but it does give kind of a, a non-linear approach and it isn't just, oh, hey, win every match, get every title. Um, I think that's cool. Um, and, you know, I mean, the other stuff is uh, all of that rivalries thing. I wonder if, uh, oh, these are rivalries, yeah. Well, that uh, sort of personality straight stuff that we saw in um, thing, what's it, what's it called? The universe mode. Um, it kind of shows off here as well, and that impacts on your relationship with certain people. So I've got allies blue uh, signifies good relationships, and then red signifies bad relationships. So uh, your first rivalry is with uh, Tyler Breeze here. Um, but uh, yeah, I expect to lose a fair few matches at the start. I haven't had a clean win yet. I've just I've won one match by a DQ, um, and I had a, a triple set where I wasn't the guy pinned. Um, so it is, it's pretty tough in the, uh, the early going here. Um, but it feels a lot more this year like you're part of something, um, which is, is good. Um, you were, it, it kind of felt last year where you were just, <laughs> you were a WWE universe unto yourself, you know, and everything just revolved around you just exceptionally slowly as you went through main event taping after main event taping after main event taping um here it feels like you're doing a lot more at, at every phase which is great um and it does feel like you know it feels like there's there's more going on it feels like you're doing more and it feels like things are moving on at a bit more of a brisk pace even if you are only on nxt for the first you know three four hours or so um, so we can see how well I do against good old Kento Kobayashi here. Um, but the other thing here is that it, it, this, uh, you know, playing in career mode really shows off, um, the uncomfortable relationship that, um, I don't know what you're supposed to do there. I, I certainly definitely hit L1. No idea. Um, the uncomfortable relationship that uh, this game has with kayfabe and all of these games has with with kayfabe. Uh, it's it like fucking Matt Bloom tells you uh, really on here, really early on, but. Uh, oh, it's it's not just it's not about winning matches. It's about entertaining the WWE universe. That's what's important. It doesn't matter if you win. Like, you know, it, like it. I think it says wins are important, but not as important as entertaining the crowd. I think was, was how the game puts it. Um, so uh, last year you had star ratings on matches, and this time you have like the electronic melter in the top left corner of the screen there um and that's you know you want to get that as high as possible um you know and usually i think i found it organically i i just i get up to uh, sort of three and a half stars pretty easily um but i mean it, it's all so you think oh that's that's quite smarky and it's all that okay you're gonna take damage and then come back and you know do all that but it's not it's it's oddly cave age you know it, it's 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 all about just hitting uh different numbers of moves you see like back and forth is there but that's not back and forth as in like the give and take of a match the the fans aren't getting more invested because they have sympathy in me here they're quote unquote getting invested because i'm hitting the reverse button at the right time its definition of back and forth is hitting the reverse or its definition of hitting of heightening drama is when i kick out of a pin 
but not when he does. Um, so, oh, The Walking Dead season two is installed. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, it is just really weird, um, and it just kind of really indicates there, to my mind, just uh, how kind of. It's a weird sort of franking game is this because it's it's just built on this code that is so old. Um, it, it it's just it, you know and so they they've added all this well, hey can you fade stuff on top of this this engine that's about uh, you know they've added this this smarky stuff on top of an engine that's that's purely k fade and and is a faux fighting game. And, you know, they've added a lot of mechanics that are a good idea, like limiting um, reversals or uh, putting in, there's like rest holes in here. The, the, the idea is they drain uh, your opponent's stamina while increasing your own stamina. And that's a good idea, except like not every character has them. And if they do have them, it's not all in this, the same situation. So it's just not a reliable enough. Uh, mechanic um, and it's just you know it just kind of shows how they've kind of just the, the modular approach um, to how they've designed these games and uh, you know how everything's just just layering you, you can almost feel uh, just the, the game engine sort of straining under the weight of all the shit that, that you've put on it over the last few years, you know, over the last, you know, ah, oh, fuck, ah, oh, god damn it, over the last, like, 10, 15 years, um, so, oh, that match wasn't very good either, oh, no, can I just quit without saving, no, it's probably going to auto save, isn't it, oh, dear, um, here we go. We can see another fight between these two. Get ready. What? Wait a second. Is that? Oh, look out from behind. Oh, there's time to breathe again. Wow. Uh, so I've been really jobbed out. Yeah, but just, just really jobbed out. <laughs> you know, since being in NXT. Just, uh, I'm terrible in it. I might be heading towards that lose every match for, for three years thing. Maybe because, like, your stats are so low. And it just... Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. What is it? What is it? Burn it with fire. Oh my goodness, that's Tyler not Reeves. human. Um, with all that's been going on between you and him, what are your why thoughts Why is the camera him? angle so bad? Why do we see, need to see so much of that background? Um, He's a fighter, that's for sure. He doesn't back down, and I like that. Come our match at the pay-per-view, we're both going to lay it on the line. And I believe that our match will not disappoint. Yeah, it's just it's weird language in there as well. Thanks for the time. Back to you. So you really see how bad some of the models are. Like she's, yeah, is, um, yeah, she's just stepped out of fucking Silent Hills or something. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's it's really pretty bad. Um, yeah, it, it's that. It's, it's just a weird modular approach to it. It feels that you know, there's there's parts of this game's code that are, that go all the way back to the PS One, and and it really kind of shows. Um, and that's just a, a really big problem with the game, really. But at the same time, this is you know, to my mind, the best one of these ones that there's ever been. And there's sort of elements where it, it really does shine and it's nice that the creation stuff is back for the most part. Oh, I'm going to wrestle him at the pay-per-view, but I'm going to wrestle him on Superstars just before. Okay, fine. Um, you know, I mean, it's nice that the creation stuff is back. It's nice that the community is as good as it ever was. Um, and all of that stuff is is good and there's elements where it, it feels like they, they want the game to be more interesting it just it really needs a year off just to, to scratch everything and, and um, make something bigger but I guess that's, that's never going to happen that's just the, the sad truth of, of sports games and, and WWE in particular in this case uh, so there you go I, I kind of like it despite itself but that's what I say every year uh, there'll be a full review on kojipop.com uh, in a day or two in the meantime, Chris Chanfer, kaijapop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.